Welcome to Parent University, a video series put on by Bedford County Public Schools to help support families and students during this school year. This is episode one, Canvas and being a Canvas Observer. We're going to cover today, what is Canvas? Why is Bedford County Public Schools using Canvas? How can we access Canvas? And how to create an Observer account. So what is Canvas? Canvas is a learning management system which is a one-stop place for communication and learning. Teachers can deliver instruction on Canvas and students can submit work on Canvas. They can also communicate with each other. An LMS provides a place families, teachers, and students can come together as a team to support the student. But why are we using Canvas? This year, the Virginia Department of Education through Virtual Virginia have made K through 12 instructional content available to all districts, teachers, and students around the Commonwealth. Canvas is the system that Virtual Virginia uses to provide their instruction. This is part of why Bedford County Public School teachers and students are using Canvas this year. So how will my students get to Canvas? They will access it through Clever and their Bedford County Public School Google account. Clever is the homepage on every Bedford County Public School device that has been checked out to students. If you do not have a BCPS device, you will need to access Clever through the website on your screen, clever.com forward slash IN forward slash Bedford Co. You can access your student's account by creating an Observer account. Instructions are going home either today or in the next week or so for you to have the pairing code necessary for you to create an account that pairs with your student. So let's take a look at Canvas. This is a look into the student experience on Canvas. I have logged in as a test student and I am enrolled in geometry. As a student, they will see every course that they have been enrolled in as long as the course has been published for them to see. This is the dashboard. It's the landing spot that the student will come to as soon as they log into Canvas. They can see a list of their courses by going to courses and easily navigate between their courses. The calendar they can use to put their own stuff in, it will also automatically populate with due dates on different assignments that the teacher does. The inbox is where they can communicate with their teachers. Students are not able to communicate to each other through this system. It is mainly for the teachers and students to communicate with each other and provide feedback and show reflection or growth as needed. The studio is a place where students can shoot their own videos to uh, turn in for an assignment or they can add media from their computer if they use the webcam on their Bedford County Public School device if it comes equipped with one. This just provides another way for students to be able to show mastery and be able to turn in work. When I'm on my dashboard, I click on the course name and it takes me to the home page of my geometry class. From here, I can come through and go to the modules and as a student I will be put where I need to go in order to start working. So here's my first one. I would then come into the first assignment and start working through the work. Students will be able to go through the assignments in whatever order and however the teacher has set up the course for them. Now to look at it from the observer side. So now we're going to create an Observer account. For those of you who want to follow along with me, please feel free to. The website is on the screen right now. It's https colon forward slash forward slash bedfordco.instructure.com forward slash login forward slash canvas. When I have navigated to that website, I will then see up here at the top, parent of a Canvas user. I will go to this link and I will put in my name and my email address that I want my information to go to. And I will create my password. 
and I will need a student pairing code. In order to have a student pairing code, if you were in grades K through 6, a letter should have gone home today that includes your student's pairing code. If you do not have that, I'm going to show you how you can access the pairing code for your student. If you are in grades 7 through 12, be on the lookout for that code to come home after the student has been in school with their learning coach for two days. This letter will come home on the second day. To access the pairing code, I can come over here to the account for my student and come over to settings and click pair with observer, which is located on the right hand side of my screen. There is a code that I can use. I can only use it once. So you might need to create multiple pairing codes if you have multiple parents that you want to sync up to a student. I will copy that code and come over and I will put it in the student pairing code spot. I have successfully logged into my observer account and I can see the student course here and it tells me I am observing. Now I can go in and change my notification settings in order to determine how do I want to receive notifications for things that go on in class. Your four choices are notify me right away, send a daily summary, send a weekly summary, and do not send me anything. When you sign up, you whatever you have here is defaulted, so you will need to come in and determine when you want to receive certain things. If you don't want to be notified when a student appointment signs up, then make sure that you keep it as an X. Those are your different notifications you can choose. You can also come down here to observing where you can add an additional student to pair to. So if you have multiple students, this is where you're going to pair with multiple kids. You're just going to put an additional code in and they will also be in this list. I can come to courses and I see the course that my student is in. I can look at the inbox, which lets me be able to communicate to my student's teacher if I need to. I can click in the course and be able to see what is going on. I can even see the discussions that are there. I do not believe I am able to type in any replies, but I can see the question that my student is supposed to see. On your right hand side, you're going to see an option that says view grades. At this time, viewing grades in Canvas is not going to give you a clear representation of how your student is doing. You can see the stuff that has been put in, but Parent Portal is still going to be your most reliable place to find out what grades your student has earned so far. Another way Canvas is helpful to families and students is through their mobile app. And now we're going to explore the Canvas Parent app. Canvas has three apps available for download on any Android or Apple device to enhance the experience you have with Canvas. There's the red Canvas Student app, the yellow Canvas Teacher app, and the blue Canvas Parent app. Be sure to download the appropriate app so that you can log into the Canvas experience correctly. We're going to explore the Canvas Parent app and how you can sign in. Once I click into Canvas Parent, I have two ways that I can log in. The first way is with a QR code, which I can pull up on my computer when I'm logged into my Observer account and I go to my account settings and there is an option for a QR for mobile login. I can scan it with my phone and it will automatically log me into the app. Or I can find my school by clicking Bedford County. And there's gonna be two options there for me. I've got SAML and Canvas. SAML is going to be used by teachers and students because that's our Google single sign-on service. Canvas is what needs to be used by people who create an account, such as parents or guardians. So please click then on Canvas. 
and you will then put in your login information that you created when you created your Observer account on the computer. If you didn't create it on the computer, then you can create an account here with the same information that we shared earlier. Once I have successfully logged into my account, I will see all of the courses for my student that I have here. I can choose between my students by clicking on the down arrow right on the student name and be able to either add a student with an additional pairing code or switch between my students. I can access on the side my user settings and I can also access any of the courses. I can click on the course and be able to jump immediately to the grades or I can go to the front page of the course and be able to see the information on their home page. I can access the calendar to see what due dates are coming up and I can also access any of the alerts that I need to have available to me. That's all we have for this episode of Parent University. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget about the Q&A form that goes with this video for any questions you still have about Canvas and or Observer accounts. It is an anonymous survey. Answers to submitted questions which relate to Canvas will be posted on the BCPS Return to School FAQs. If you have questions concerning topics unrelated to Canvas or Observer accounts, please direct them to your student's base school. We look forward to seeing you next time on Parent University.